Hey everyone, Chris of CJC Photography here, and I have a brand new book review for you today, which is Blood Day by Lexi C. Foss, and it features Eric and Skye on the cover, and it was designed by Covers by Julie. It took me a little bit of time to read this one because this is a big book. Um, it's actually now split into a duet where there's a part one, Blood, Blood Day part one and Blood Day part two, but I have the opportunity to read it as one whole book before she split it into a duet. I am going to actually read the back of the book and then a little bit of a synopsis before I jump in to say what I thought about it. And I will just start off by saying this little tidbit, but I think this is one of um, my favorite books Lexi has ever written. And I have so many questions for her that I will be asking her all about it when I see her um, next month at TNT North Carolina, because I have a lot of questions. Like what happens next? Okay. <laughs> so welcome to the future where the superior bloodlines make the rules. You're about to enter the blood university world where humans have no rights, no choices, and there are no second chances. Proceed at your own risk. Well, if that didn't already have me wanting to flip the page, check this part out. All right, so Blood Day, the deadly graduation ceremony that dictates who I will become in the world run by vampires and lichens. And this is Lily speaking. There's no escape, nowhere to run, obey or die. My name isn't relevant. My identity fails to mean a thing. It's my scores that count, and Master Cedric is hell-bent on failing me. I bow, I beg, I crawl, but nothing is good enough for the ancient vampire with cruel dark eyes. He wants me to bleed exclusively for him. Yeah, that's not how this society works. Yet, that's not how this society works. I can't fail. My life depends on it. I will fight until my last breath. Even if that means dying on my knees before the vampire god who rules my classroom. So welcome to the future where the superior bloodlines make the rules. You're about to enter the blood university world where humans have no rights, no choices, and there are no second chances. Enter if you dare, run if you must. Blood day is upon us, goddess help us all. Uh, like I said, I loved this. Um, so to kind of paint you a picture, Lily is in a university, think college of sorts, where she's training in different classes to, comp to compete for Blood Day, where different students, again, if you will, are being placed into different groups where they will live after they graduate. For instance, there is the harem, um, where those who graduate go into that realm. There is also a group of individuals that compete to become immortal. I believe it was 12 or 10. So that's Lily's goal. She wants to compete in this competition where, again, a, a small group of people get to uh, join to compete for immortality because humans are the bottom of the food chain and they have no say in anything. And you're trying to get the highest scores in your classes in order to graduate to a different job per se. Um, and she wants to compete to get that title of being able to be immortal. However, what hinders her in a lot of ways is Cedric is um, her teacher for a martial arts class of sorts. And though she does very well in the class, he always gives her low grades. He knows that she will never be able to compete, that she isn't someone that will make it in that regards, and he's trying to save her in different ways. And she makes him feel some ways that he has never felt before. Um, and at first,
first he kind of sees her more as a toy, more as his plaything. Um, and only the best and highest mark students qualify to compete for immortality. So him failing her in his class is really hindering her ability to advance the way she wants to. And she says, but this vampire loathed me from the moment he laid eyes on me. And again, since I read this book in its entirety as one and not split up as a duet, there might be potentially some spoilers because I'm not sure what's in book one versus book two. So keep that in mind. Um, and just trying to imagine this specific world that Lily lives in, it's so bleak and dark and it's like, why even try? Because you're most likely going to not survive. Um, and then with him continuously failing her, she is very strong-willed in that there may not be sunlight here, but I refuse to wither and die. You're not wrong about me, you'll see. She's very strong-willed and she wants to succeed because she wants to compete for immortality. Um, I'm trying to not give any spoilers. Um, so clearly things will advance between the two of them romantically. Um, there are a lot of twists and turns within this story and it is a wild roller coaster. I think I'm gonna end with this quote from Cedric and kind of leave it at that. That was the gift Lily gave me, another chance to experience everything as though it were the first time again, to remember what it was like to be human. So having said that, check out Blood Day by Lexi C. Foss, which is available as a duet now as a part one, part two, and let me know what you thought about it. Um, make sure to subscribe because I will have more book reviews coming soon, as well as model interviews and behind the scenes from photo shoots, all the things. Um, have a great weekend, everyone.